Hi everybody, Kelly here with another project to share with you today and this is the small toolbox from Sar Crafters and I decided after I put this together that I didn't want to use any paper on this at all so I went to town with some gesso and some texture paste and lots of stencils and some sprays and just had a lot of fun really so I started by painting the whole entire thing white and then I used several stencils or masks so I used um, a like um, patterned mask from Sar Crafters I used a script mask from the Crafters Workshop I used a dotted mask which I'm hoping you guys can see in there from Sar Crafters and a wing um, and I also used a damask oh sorry guys can you see that better? A damask mask, which is from Prima. So I'm just going to walk you around this. So that is one side. That's the back, guys. I'm hoping you can see that all right. That is the other side. And then we go right the way back around to the front. So once I had done all of this stenciling <coughs> excuse me and waited for it to dry I then sprayed it with my chosen colours and I'm just going to get those for you to explain to you what they were sorry guys I would leave it the other side of the camera sorry okay so I used two Lindy's and I used cotton candy pink um, and I used um, Toto's Tornado Black and I used a chalk mist by Cosmic Shimmer, which is called Pastel Green. Then I used this, <coughs> which is a homemade um, spray, which I made from mica powder. And I used that because some of the com colours were coming out a bit more intensely than I wanted them, and I kind of wanted to pale them down a little bit. So I sprayed that over a lot of the black to sort of make it a bit dimmer, and some of the green in some places as well. So... Um, after I'd done that, I really, really liked it, and I didn't want to over-embellish something that I really liked, but at the same time, I wanted a really large feature. So I have this absolutely huge, I mean, you can see my hand, so you can see how huge this thing is. And um, this is a foam rose, and it is just beautiful. But I wanted to give it a bit more texture still, so I added this huge doily around the back, and then I just sort of glued that down in some places just to give it the look that I wanted. I ran this trim across the bottom and it had dangles but I cut the dangles off and then I added some perfect pearls into the middle of each of the little flowers to match the colours that I'd used in the toolbox itself in the sprays. Then I added this little wood word up here which says joy and that is from Leone, my passion for paper, thank you Leone, and I sprayed that with the same green spray and then I don't know how well it's picking up on the camera but I actually used perfect pearls on that as well. And then there are perfect pearls dotted throughout the whole project. Then across here, here, and the same on the other side, I used some little tiny flat back pearl trim just to give it, I don't know, something a bit extra to look at. So if I just turn that round for you again. And then on this side, you can see the trim along the bottom a little better with the matching coloured perfect pearls in the middle. So there you go, guys. That's another project to share with you. I hope you like it. Please leave me a comment, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye, guys.